there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video covers about creating a program using methods. Last two videos we have discussed about what are methods, why do we need methods and the syntax of the methods. This program basically we are creating for a departmental store and say for example the departmental store is giving discount based on the amount that the customer purchases. So say for example the amount is 1000 rupees the shopkeeper is giving a discount of 2%. Now, if the amount is 5000 and above, in that case, maybe the discount percentage is 5. If the amount purchase is 10,000 and above, in that case, maybe discount percentage is 7. If the amount is 15,000 and above, say discount percentage is 10%. Okay. So, for different amounts, of course, we'll have if else loop, we'll say if the amount is less than equal to 1000, we'll have to calculate discount for 2%. For 5000, we'll calculate discount for 5%. Same for 7, same for 10. So, can you see I'm repeating the calculation of discount n number of times. Again, the code make it complex the moment, suppose I add the conditions that if a user purchases say handloom clothes, the discount percentage is this much. If a user purchases electronic items, then discount percentage is this much. And again, these percentages vary. In that case, wouldn't it be nice if I could write a program and I say public double and I'll write a method which says calculate discount. Now, it requires parameters that is discount percentage and the amount. So, I'll say double the discount percentage so we'll just write say percent and the amount itself so i'll say double amount right now to calculate percentage we all know now to calculate discount we all know it's whatever the percentage is so if it's two percent two percent of the amount so again we'll say suppose double and a discounted amount sorry we'll say discount is equals to whatever the percent is, percent divided by 100 into the amount and the discounted amount will be, so we will say double discounted amount will be equals to the original amount minus the discount, right. Now, once we do this, we will just return the discounted amount. So, you can see I have written it once, the calculate discount logic. Now, again the same stuff, we will have a scanner class, we will take the input, the, um, the total amount that the user is paying and then based on the amount value, we will calculate the discount. So, again the scanner class will take the amount of purchase and done. We need to calculate discount based on the condition. So, again we will have if amount is less than equal to 1000 in that case we will need a discounted amount. So, I will just say system dot out dot println or else let me break this up. And then we will say double amount is equals to let's call the calculate discount pass in the percentage which is 2 for less than equal to 1000 and pass in the amount right once we get the amount then we can just print so let's do this and again let me declare this variable also outside and i can say so we'll see the difference i'll say double total amount is equals to 0, 0.0. So, then total amount that the user will pay is after calculating the discount. Same way, we will just repeat these statements and else I will say here, else if amount is less than equal to 5000, then calculate it passing in the discount percentage 5. I will say if it is less than equal to 10,000, pass in the 7 percentage and I will say if it is 
will say if it is less than equal to 15,000 in that case it's 10 percentage okay and then I can just print to be paid will be total amount right so it's just simple we wrote a function and then you can see I can just call it again and again and I can use it at n I can use it n number of times at n number of different locations so this is the advantage of functions you write it once tomorrow you want to change any logic for calculating discount you can just go here you can change it and you can just apply it so and you can just use it basically so again let me say I say else if and uh, that's it and suppose if it's else means the amount purchased is say greater than 15,000 so let me say I'm giving a 15% discount so if it's not less than 1000 then it goes here otherwise it goes here or else here and so on so that's it so you can see it's so easy to write the function once and use it again and again let's just run and see So enter the amount of purchase suppose I say 3000 so on 3000 it should be 5% discount so you can see 2850 which is 150 rupees and I guess it makes sense right if I suppose run it again and suppose this time I enter an amount of say 15,000 in that case it should be 10% discount so you can see it's uh, 1500 less so yeah so it's 13500 so we are getting the output so this is just a simple use case of how do you use methods in a class I hope you liked it and you enjoyed it so if you do like please do share and subscribe the channel happy learning take care and bye bye